In this example, I need to find the center and radius of the circle given by the equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 4y plus 13 equals 0. So quickly reviewing, the standard form of an equation of a circle with the center at the ordered pair hk and a radius of r is given by this equation. And once my equation is in standard form, it's easy to find the coordinates of the center h and k and the radius r. So I need to rewrite this equation in standard form. And to do that, I need to group my x's together. So I'm going to have x squared minus 10x. And then I'm going to put plus a blank because I'm going to have to add a constant that turns this expression into a perfect squared trinomial. Repeat it for the y's. y squared plus 4y. Again, I'm going to have to put plus a blank because I need to turn that into a perfect squared trinomial. Equals, I'm going to have to subtract 13 from both sides of this equation. And when I do that, I'm going to get negative 13 on the right-hand side. But don't forget, I added two constants to the left-hand side of the equation. So to keep my equation in balance, I have to add the exact same constants to the right-hand side of the equation. One very important thing to remember about completing the square is the coefficient of the squared term must be plus 1. Is that true for the x squared term? Yes. Is that true for the y squared term? Yes. So we can proceed. So working on the x's. You take the coefficient of the linear term, the x term, is negative 10. You divide it by 2, which gives you negative 5. Then you take negative 5 and square it. Negative 5 all squared is positive 25. The squared term is the number that you add to both sides of this equation. And when you do that, this expression becomes a perfect squared trinomial that factors into x with something all squared. What's that something? It's half of this coefficient, so half of negative 10 is negative 5. If you're not sure if you got this correct, just multiply this out to see if you get this expression here. Now, repeating the process for the y's. The coefficient of the linear term, the y term, is 4. Take 4, divide it by 2, you get 2. Then take 2 and square it, you get 4. The squared term is the number you add to both sides. And you're going to get a perfect squared trinomial here that's going to factor into y plus half of this coefficient, so half of 4 is 2. So it's y plus 2 all squared. And then that is going to equal negative 13 plus 25 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. Now, is this equation in standard form? Does it have this format? Yes. So here is the equation of this circle in standard form. And now to find the center of the circle. The x-coordinate of the center is at the opposite of this number. So it's at the opposite of negative 5, which is positive 5. The y-coordinate of the center, k, is at the opposite of this number. So it's at the opposite of positive 2, which is negative 2. So the center of this circle is at the ordered pair 5, negative 2. And lastly, I need to find the radius r. Remember, this is r squared. So in this case, r squared is 16. So r is the positive square root. It has to be positive because it's an actual physical distance. 
So I know the radius of this circle is the square root of 16, which is 4.